Dear students, very good morning. Welcome to the next episode of ABAP Tips. Here, we are going to learn how we can access the stack variable. For example, here you can see that we have a program. This program is calling the form stack one. The name of the subroutine is stack one. The stack one is calling the another subroutine stack two. And stack two is calling the class method access attribute program. So what I want, if I want to access an attribute of the subroutine here to here in this method, how we can do that? One way is that, that you can use the ABAP memory, right? We have discussed in our last video of ABAP tips about the memory management, okay? In detail, you should have that basic understanding in order to understand better this part. So if you have not seen, please go ahead and watch out from this playlist, just previous video. Or I will give you the link of that video in the description box. Fine, let's go ahead and see in practical what I am trying to do. One thing here, there can be different scenario. The scenario first in today's video, we are going to discuss the scenario number one, accessing program variable, like a program is calling a method. Inside that method, how we can access the program variable, right? This can be one scenario. So if you're not understanding, nothing to worry. I'm going to show you in practical there. It will be more clear. Just keep on watching. Here the scenario two, accessing the FM variable. And the scenario three can be accessing the class variable. Okay, so three different scenario. The first one is straightforward. We are going to discuss today. Second is little tricky. You should have the good understanding of function module and function group. And third one is most critical. And this we are going to see in the last video. Okay, so let's go and see the scenario one. Here, I have created one small program. Let's go to SC38. And the program name which I have created is this one, ZABAPTIPS access stack variable. This is the name of the program. Under this program, we have this variable, okay? This variable, I want to access in a class method. This is the method of the class. This is a separate class which I have created. Here you can see that this is a class ZCL stack demo and inside this class we have a method called access attribute program. The name of the method I have kept like that and in this method what I want to do I want to access the attribute of that particular class. So let me just Sorry, uh, uh, I, I I believe that you are not able to see the screen. Let me share the screen. Yeah, now it should be visible. Okay, let me show you once again what the program I have written. So this is the program I have written. The name of the program is JABAPTIPS access stack variable. So what this program basically is uh, doing that, you know, uh, this variable we are having declared over here inside uh, this program, I'm having one perform stack one and this stack one is here calling the stack two and inside this stack two, we are calling this uh, class method, okay? So this is the method over here. What I want to do actually, 
I want to show you if you want to access the variable within the stack, how you can do so. One thing is that like you can use the parameter, right? But let's suppose if you don't have the parameter, just you assume that you are calling a, you know, body implementation. So from a standard, you just want to access, you know, the variable. Let's suppose this is a standard program, okay? And this variable you want to use inside this body implementation, right? So because that is the standard program, you won't be able to, you know, do anything. You won't be able to change any parameter or something like that, right? It will not allow. So in that case, maybe these tips will be useful. However, you are supposed to use, you know, the shared memory area concept, which is the recommended one, but this can be also used. However, SAP tells that this is only for the internal use. That means SAP tells that this has been there for the SAP internal purpose only. They may change in future, but I have seen in many projects that people, developer have been using this one. And I think it's not so much easy for even SAP also to, you know, uh, remove completely. Let us let me explain this concept, what that concept is, how you can easily access using the field symbol, okay? So let's go and put the breakpoint over here. I have already put, I'm just going to run this one. And here you can see that we have this stack, right? So this is the main program, main program, the perform stack one, stack one is calling the stack two and again a stack two is calling the this method so here in this method i want to have the access of this particular lv program variable if you come here you can see that this value is getting disappeared you want to get this value over here how to do in order to access the value what you have to do that let me come over here, go into the change mode, and you have to declare one, you know, uh, variable. So LV underscore variable type, this, this should be field symbol actually, field symbols, LV underscore Word type and this will be of any type. Okay, so let's let's have of any type because you know this you don't know what kind of value is going to come. So you can you will be able to access any kind of value by giving type any. Okay, you don't know about the field symbol and data references. I'm having the YouTube videos for that. Just go and watch it out. Now here. Let me tell you one thing. You have to define a constant. How you can define the constant and what you have to give inside this constant, you have to give the constant value like this, the program name, okay? Program name you have to give. This you have to put into the small bracket and then, you have to give the variable name. So variable name. So let's go and do that. What's the program name which uh, uh, for which we want to access that? Let's let's come here. Go back. This is the program name. So just copy this one and go here. Go here and give this program name over here. And the variable name is this one. This is what we want to access. And this is not going to be case sensitive. So this is case insensitive. So you don't have to bother about. So here, I'll see some constant, you know, um, just defining. And that's it. 
so now just assign lc to this field symbol let's have the good naming convention fs copy this and paste it now what will happen that you will be able to see that this particular value the value which we have assigned over there that will be coming over here and you will be able to print it let's copy and paste it accessing the stack the value of the variable in the main program is right come over here and that's it if you want to give some color you can give the color activate this one activate and put the breakpoint over here let's go and run this program run this and you can see now that you know here the value is lv program is 10 the same value it should access over there right so directly lv underscore program where is not you know defined over here because the scope is gone it's not here but this value we can access how from the role area of the you know uh system right from role area of the internal session so whenever internal session gets loaded role area you know gets created this is what we have discussed in our last video right so we are accessing the value from the role area using the field symbol and now see this is the program and this is the variable so when you are assigning this particular value to this uh, field symbol then field symbol should have 10 right so let's press f6 and size of rc is 0 that means assignment is successful and you can see that uh, here something is wrong let me check this okay i got it actually we have to access the value dynamically so you will have to put into a small bracket and that's why it's a you know uh, not coming the value instead this value as a literal was coming i wanted to access the value of this not this value right so i have to put inside the a smaller bracket so now check the syntax I activate this one and now it should work let's go and run it from program so slash n sc38 once again just to run this program and this time if you observe just press f6 and just run this one you can see that the value 10 is coming over here right and this is what the value was right lv program where is 10 correct so in this method we are able to access the value of the variable of that program right so this is how like if you want you can do however it is not the recommended approach but still like you know if you want you can do however you have to be careful you have to write this code on your own disk like in future if sap is going to remove this uh, way of behavior of the field symbol then you have to adjust the code using another recommended approach okay so this is just a warning now you can see that the value 10 is printing over here now we have the another scenario accessing the field uh, function module variable right we have accessed over here the program variable we have accessed the program variable this program variable inside the class method in the same way you can access this program variable inside the function module okay but the session should be internal only this is the important criteria 
it should not be external session it will not work for the external session because the role area for the external session will be different right so you won't be able to access using the field symbol okay so with this let's stop this session over here in the next video i will show you how you can access a field uh, function module variable outside of the function module inside the program or class method thank you for watching bye bye